What's up, faggots? Freeman here, and uh, today it is day 34, I can count this time. And uh, I thought I might talk about the, the last four days and the last 30 days, because the last four days have been pretty interesting. I've been in a mini food coma, but I have also been really looking closely at my NoFap. I've noticed some really, really amazing changes, and also, looking back at the last 30 days, I wanted to sort of brief as to how much I've... How much, how far I've come and the sort of benefits that I've had so far. Now, uh, just a quick thing, I've been doing a lot of diets, fasts, you know, challenges and stuff, and I found that in almost all of them, between three weeks to two months, that's when you start to see all the real big changes, or at least the beginning of real big changes, because after three weeks, that's when you start to see all the different, or uh, all, all, all the different bodily cycles starts to normalize, you start getting to new habits, your body can finally say, okay, you're not jacking off anymore, so I'm gonna actually increase your levels of testosterone, yada, yada, yada. For me, mine came around about day 29 to day 30, because that was when I really started to experience a lot of different shifts in my testosterone levels. Now, I, I posted a video beforehand about how, you know, tackling the issues at home and issues like emotional issues and how NoFap helped me. That's going great, and also there's been a few other changes, uh, mainly uh, just the way I interact with women and just my own personal physiology as well. So, change number one is that my balls are no longer itching. Yep. Now, I haven't actually mentioned this before, but and it, because it's sort of a really stupid point, but I always found it very, very strange that whenever, on those days when I really start to notice my testosterone levels go up, I wake up in the morning and my balls start to tingle. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know if that's a superpower or if that's just... <laughs> That's just the testosterone rebalancing or something, but it's kind of strange. I just wanted to just wanted to say that it seems as if they've stopped and everything is fine. So I I take that as a sign that my testosterone has finally reached some sort of a balance. I don't know what I'm saying. On to the next point. This one is that my mood has actually stabilized quite a lot. Now before my mood used to be fluctuating, I used to have flat lines, and then I'd be the opposite of the flat line, uh, and then I'd be depressed on some days or at least low on some days, low energy levels and stuff like that, and then I'd be up again. And uh, recently it's just been a lot more stable and a lot more calm as well. I feel more myself, or more more normal, dare I say. Normal, the fucking evil word. That's been going pretty well. And the last and most important point is that I'm becoming way more picky between my choices of women. Now before I would just be, I would be fucking beta as shit basically. I'd be like, you know, oh she, she, she's mildly attractive, she's pretty curvy. Uh, you know, oh yeah, she's attractive, and then it'd be, I'd do the, a lot of the normal stuff, and I find myself being more and more open, more and more wanting, more and more, you know, you know, just fantasizing about her and this and that. But now recently, especially with my whole finding porn disgusting, I, I really, like, just looking back, and I'm, man, I, I used to find some real trader trash attractive. I'm sorry if you're one of those people that's watching this video, but I don't give a fuck. If you're offended, this is not the place, because I will offend you to shit, and I will laugh as you fall. Anyway, basically it's becoming more and more picky, and this this experience really happened when I was walking down the road, and I, I remember looking over at a girl who, about 30 or 40 days ago, I'd look at her and I'd think, oh, she's really, really attractive, and then all of a sudden, like, it was like, uh, in those like in those like sci-fi movies where you've got this like kit you've got this like uh, this that close-up digital image of someone's face and they're like analyzing it with all these little squares and stuff okay it wasn't that intense because that'd be pretty damn cool if I could do that but it's like my brain was like looking at the facial structure and the, the position of the eyes this was all happening really fast I remember just looking and thinking wow like it, it like, like like she looks different and I can actually look at her and I can actually say no you know, whereas before I was like, oh yeah, she looks mildly attractive, but it wasn't even, I wasn't even really, you know, properly looking into it. Whereas before it's just like, it's almost like my brain is really selecting people who are really compatible with me. People who I would really want to make love to, basically. Which is the whole reason why I think a lot of um, people balancing testosterone find that they, they become a lot more picky, basically. Which is actually a really, really great thing, because it, it means that I can stop, that I, that I can basically have more control, have more say. And that's been great because a lot of times during my life, I've been really, I, I was the sort of kind of guy who would find just one girl super hot, and that was it. Back in primary school, back in secondary school, back in college, I, I'd just be just find like one or two girls really, really hot. And the rest of them were like, okay, you know, they're all right. And then after that sort of went, I, I when, when I started doing NoFap, it's almost like you just become so goddamn, you know, drained of energy that you can't discern between hot and not. So then you just, you know... And then just thinking back, like I said before, damn, I found some really ugly women attractive before. Not all women are equal, not all men are equal, and god damn it, I've been just selling myself short, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Absolutely wasting my time and sometimes my seed on people who uh, not only couldn't give anything back to me, but also uh, just when I look back at them, I think, damn, I wouldn't touch you with a fucking 50-foot yard pole.
Anyway guys, that's all I wanted to say. It's going to be a really, really quick video because I just wanted to say a few things. Uh, I'm also testing out my new video quality as I move on to do other videos because before the video quality looked like ass. So um, I wanted to see change up some settings and for some reason it's still focusing and changing so I'll try and change that again but let me know what you think um, and I'm um, man do what you want peace